Hello, brothers and sisters of the bar. Professor Jeremiah here. It's turned out to be a nice, sunny day. Smoking my long chant. And it's what I've got in it that's uh, kind of special. It's a blend that I've rediscovered. This is a blend which I smoked a little bit in Nigeria. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I made an order with Sutliff last week, and I had four ounces of this blend come in. And now I'm wishing I'd gotten eight or maybe even 16 ounces. But I'm going to order it again. I can guarantee you that. This is now about my sixth bowl that I've smoked since this came in of this blend. And it's Sutliff's Old Professor. Now, I know what you're saying. I would have thought he was already smoking that. But uh, typically, I, I just have a number of other light IKEA blends, uh, Father Dempsey being number one in that, but this is giving Father Dempsey kind of a run for its money. And maybe they've changed up this blend a little bit. I, I don't know. I put a little out here on my little loading tray, loading saucer here, so you can see some of the flake and the colors in it. It's a nice English light IKEA blend. Uh, opening the bag that it came in smells over powering lot of Kia, but smoking it, it doesn't really, it's not overwhelming, I, not to me at least, maybe I've been smoking a lot of Kia long enough that it's not affecting me that much, but definitely will be ordering some more again soon, because that four ounces is going to probably go pretty quick. Got a little story for you this afternoon. Talking about old professors. The psychology professor walked around on a stage while teaching stress management principles to an auditorium filled with students. As she raised a glass of water, everyone expected they'd be asked the typical glass half empty or glass half full question. Instead, with a smile on her face, the professor asked, how heavy is this glass of water that I'm holding? Students shouted out answers ranging from eight ounces to a couple of pounds. She replied, from my perspective, the absolute weight of the glass doesn't matter. It all depends on how long I hold it. If I hold it for a minute or two, it's fairly light. If I hold it for an hour straight, its weight might make my arm ache a little. If I hold it for a day straight, my arm will likely cramp up, feel completely numb and paralyzed, forcing me to drop the glass to the floor. In each case, the weight of the glass doesn't change, but the longer I hold it, the heavier it feels to me. As the class nodded their heads in agreement, she continued, your stress and worries in life are very much like this glass of water. Think about them for a while, nothing happens. Think about them a little longer and you begin to ache a little. Think about them all day long and you will feel completely numb and paralyzed, incapable of doing anything else until you drop them or until you drop to the floor yourself. Thought you'd find that a, a hopefully a reinforcing story to, to moving forward, to letting your cares go, cast your burdens on Jesus, right? We're entering Thanksgiving week. Many of you will be traveling, but each time you hear Thanksgiving, I want you to think about the things that you're thankful for. And I mentioned this a little bit in my, my last uh, video. It's oftentimes out of the difficulties that we face in life that we sometimes become most thankful. Not thankful for the difficulty, but thankful in the deliverance from that difficulty. Thankful in how that problem was answered. Uh, even a simple thing, you have a power bill that needs to be paid. And you don't know how you're going to pay it and your next paycheck's a few weeks away. But then somehow that bill gets paid and I bet you're thankful for the way that it gets paid 
the stress of, of, of that weight may have been a bit much. But once that burden's lifted, thankfulness comes. How can we express thankfulness? Brothers and sisters, uh, I'm not going to be able to have a Zoom meetup tomorrow evening. So instead, I'm going to do that tonight. So the night of this video posting, I'm going to have a Zoom meetup. And we're going to go from uh, 6 o'clock to 7. I'm sorry, I can't do it all night long or do it for a longer period. But if you can join us from that 6 to 7 period, that would be wonderful. I'll have the link for the Zoom meetup in the bucket down below. It's really not a lot to setting up. Uh, a Zoom account. Uh, you can also even do it from your laptop. Uh, if Providing you have a camera and a microphone on that laptop, you can do it from a laptop or you can do it from your smartphone. Uh, not sure if you're going to have to add a, an app or not. You might have to do that, but other than that, it's not really a lot to set up a Zoom account. And so if you've not done that, uh, I would encourage you to check that out. Uh, it's free. I'm the host. I'm the only one that's uh, paying anything. Uh, so anyway, love to see you there. Six o'clock Central Standard Time this evening. Till then, God bless.